Welcome everyone to Sabre Virtual Demo. Our brief videos explain different features of Business Central and related products. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a shipment or a packing slip from a job. Now, as some of you may know, jobs don't natively have the ability to create shipments and to create packing slips. So as part of Sabre ETO, we've enhanced this so that you're able to send spare parts or ship product to your customers. So let's take a look at that process inside of Business Central. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to jobs as I normally would, and I'll select here my conference rooms job. So what I need to do is I need to select some furnishings, but what I also want to do is send some samples off, maybe some sample lamps so that people can kind of take a look at whether or not it would look good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable this task as a bomb task so that I can turn on that extra Sabre ETO functionality that supports this feature. I'm going to drill into what's called my bomb planning lines. And on my bomb planning lines, I can indicate a new line for what it is that I would like to ship. I can ship items, jail lines, text lines. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select here my lamps. We'll take them from the blue location and I'm going to send five. When I'm ready, I'm going to scroll over to a new field area where we have quantity to ship, quantity in queue, and quantity shipped. In quantity to ship, I'm going to indicate how many lamps I intend to ship on this shipment. So of course I can put the full amount, I can put a partial. I'm going to put the full amount for right now. Once I actually create the shipping paperwork, it's going to move the quantity of five to the quantity in queue. So what that indicates for the users is I've created paperwork. It's in essence sort of staged and ready to go, but I haven't posted it yet, meaning it hasn't physically left my building. So when I'm ready to jump into my packing slip screen under process, I am going to create packing slip which brings me to this intermediate screen where I can enter in additional information about the trailer, crates, bundles, any of that information, it's all optional and user defined. I can indicate you know, a specific user who created it for questions, I can add comments. It fully supports alternate ship to addresses with the customer. So all that information I can enter and I can say, okay. And it's created me here, this packing slip card. So what I can see here is that this is not posted. So again, paperwork has been created, but I haven't yet committed. Down below, I can see line item information for the five lamps that I intend to ship to the customer. You can see here in the quantity to queue that again, paperwork created, it's ready to go, but we have not yet left the facility. So I'm going to click this quantity in queue to jump back and see the document. So you can see Business Central Sabre ETO will support the Microsoft drill down capability that everyone loves so much. And when I am ready, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post the shipment to move the quantity in queue to the quantity shipped and again, decrease the inventory. So I will select yes to post the packing slip. So now we can see that the shipment is posted. We can see the lines have been posted. Under report, we can email or send a copy of the packing slip. I'll print one just so that you guys can see it. So this is just a really simple packing slip. You can edit in Word to add things, take them away, add your logo, etc. And that's just fully supported by the Word layouts. And if we look at the job now, we'll be able to see that our quantity has moved to the quantity shipped. So with Sabre ETO and using the packing slip, you will have the ability to be able to ship from a job, have links to the job, full visibility in the job. You'll be able to see what's ready to be shipped, what's waiting in the dock to be shipped and paperwork is ready. And of course, what's physically left your facility. Thank you for watching our videos. Please follow our channel by clicking here or click here for more great videos. We look forward to seeing you next time.